All right, we've got to talk. You've been building, testing, and deploying your website all from your own machine. We've all done it right here. Some of us may even still be doing it today on our projects. Yep, me again. There are better ways. And that's what we're here to talk about. What's up everyone? My name's Ryan and welcome to Developer's Garage. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a better way to build, test, and deploy our sites. If you have any questions about this or anything else tech related, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Link in the description below. Feel free to drop in the chat and we'll talk about it. Also, if you're getting any value out of this, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you'll know the next time I drop a video. There's a popular meme going around saying, friends don't let friends right click deploy. This references a developer's ability to deploy a solution directly from Visual Studio. This can also include deploying directly from the command line. This process leads to works on my machine syndrome, where a site can only be built and deployed from a single machine. This can be very dangerous because there could be undocumented dependencies or changes made to the site which have yet to be committed to source control. We can fix this by automating our process, reducing the burden to remember, did I deploy that? Did I remember to check that change in the source control? There are many ways to solve this problem, but today we're gonna to look at just one of those ways, and that's using GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions make it easy to automate the building, testing, and deploying of all your code right from GitHub. So let's jump on over to the computer and see how to make it happen. All right, for this demonstration, we're gonna be deploying a Gatsby site to GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages forces deployment of user slash organization pages to the main or master branch. So we'll need to create a new branch and set it as our default branch. Now we're ready to create our GitHub action. GitHub Actions uses a YAML file to define our build, test, and deploy steps. Now we could create this from scratch, but GitHub has provided a quicker, less error-prone way to create the YAML file. In your GitHub repository, click on the Actions tab. GitHub provides several pre-configured workflows that you can use to get started, but we're gonna create ours ourselves. So click on Set Up Workflow Yourself. This starts off with a basic workflow where we can add the steps we need. At the top of our YAML file, we define the name and the actions we want to trigger our workflow. For right now, we only want this to fire on pushes to our branch, so we'll remove pull requests. Next, we need to add the steps to our build job. On the right, there are community build actions to help you accomplish your task. We'll be using these along the way to help set up our steps for our build job. Since Gatsby uses Node, we need to add a Node setup to our steps. As we all know, too many spaces one way and not enough the other will invalidate your YAML schema. GitHub's built-in editor validation does a great job of letting you know when your YAML is valid or not. Now Gatsby version 3 uses Node 12, so we need to specify this in our step. Next, we need to tell it how to run our CI, build, and test steps. All right, we've got the steps necessary to build, test, and deploy our site, so now let's get it deployed. There are a couple of options in the marketplace to help us do this. We'll be using the one created by James Ives. We'll keep only the parameters we'll need for this step and remove the rest. We'll specify the branch where our built code is located. Then we'll specify the folder containing the code we need to deploy. Now we're ready to commit our files to source. So with that committal, GitHub will now see our YAML file and execute our workflow with every push to our branch. And there we go. We've set up our automated build, test, and deploy pipeline. Now, it's worth noting, it's recommended to use a separate repository for your source code and use this one for deployments. And until next time, happy coding.